Let's look at coterminal angles. I want to both define coterminal angles as well as discuss how to find them. These are angles with the same initial and terminal side, but different rotations. As an example, let's look at this angle here. I could do this rotation and get the measure of the angle. But perhaps instead of that, I went an entire full rotation plus a little bit extra. That would be another example of a coterminal angle. Or perhaps I moved in the negative direction and I looked at this angle here. That would also be considered coterminal angles. If our angle theta is given to us in terms of degrees, coterminal angles look like that angle plus some multiple of 360, the full rotation. And so here, k is any integer. It tells me how many full rotations I actually had. In terms of radians, if I have my angle measure theta, my coterminal angles look like theta plus 2 pi k, where once again, k is an integer. It tells me the total number of rotations that I have. In general, we like angles to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So most of the time, whenever we have these coterminal angles, we use these ideas to move them to an angle between 360 degrees and 0. As an example, let's look at 520 degrees. To find a coterminal angle, I can add or subtract 360 since there are 360 degrees in a full rotation. And when I do that, I get 160. So angle 520 degrees and angle 160 degrees are coterminal angles. If I have an angle like negative 135 degrees, this time I want to add 360 to get it between 0 and 360. Negative 135 plus 360 is 225. So negative 135 and 225 degrees are coterminal angles. If I look at something like 31 pi over 6, we can see that this is bigger than 2 pi, so I'm going to subtract out 2 pi. Or 12 pi over 6. When I do, that gets me 19 pi over 6. And we can see that this is still too big. This is still bigger than a full rotation. It's bigger than 2 pi. So I'm going to remove a second 2 pi. I'm going to move a second full rotation. And that gets me 7 pi over 6. So it may be necessary to add or subtract either 360 degrees or 2 pi more than once. If we have an angle like negative pi over 3, this time I would need to add a full rotation. I need to add a full 2 pi, which I'm going to write as 6 pi over 3. Negative pi plus 6 pi is 5 pi over 3. So in this case, negative pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 are coterminal angles.